Hello everybody, what is going on today? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And today we're gonna learn how to modify our existing paths with the uh, direct selection tool. So open up a blank document and go ahead and start making a path. So I'm just gonna make like a four point path. It's nothing gonna be too special. And close it up. And then I'm going to go over and select my direct selection tool, which is the white arrow here. So that one. And go ahead and click on your path. Now, if you click on an area where there where you didn't actually click on a point, it's going to going to show two ends of the uh, points, and these are called tangents. These these lines here, and you notice that only one of the tangents is coming off from the uh, um, off the point. These are also called handles, people call them that, or um, anchor, anchor handles, I guess. So go ahead and click on an actual point, and then you'll get both handles for the anchor point. And now you have more control over this. Now if you click and hold, you can move the anchor point and change the curve. You can go in, or you can come out as well. So that's how you um, modify that a little. Now if you hold down Alt or Option on a Mac, so if I do that, you can see that it changes into a, like a little plus. If you hold down Alt, it'll break the tangent line where you can just move one by itself. And if you let go of it, if you let go of Alt, it'll go back to what it was doing before. So if you try to move um, these if you click on the line and then you don't actually click on a point, you can tell a point is clicked if it's black. If it's not clicked, it's white. So if you click off and then click on and you just have these couple points, you can only modify the one side. And then if you try to hold all and move it around, you can't see the both the tangent points and it makes it a little hard. So it's good to just click on the actual tangent or on the actual anchor point. That way you can modify it like that. So a good rule to go by is that um, the farther away that your direction point is away from the curve, the more aggressive the curve is going to be. So this is a larger, more aggressive curve. And if it's closer, like this, then it's going to be um, a more gradual curve. And if it doesn't have any uh, lines here, it's going to be a straight anger point which I'll go over in the next tutorial so that's where we'll end this one and then we can continue in the next tutorial where we go ahead or we go about converting straight points and curved points so look forward to seeing you guys in that tutorial and stay tuned so see you guys later